Top of the morning, friends and family. I'm gonna show you all of my female ball pythons in today's video, bringing it back to the old school. We haven't done a video like this in a long time. I've got about 32, exactly 32, 30, 31 plus, your extra flavor, ball pythons that are female sitting in this room. So we're gonna go through them in no particular order. I'm gonna try and get through all of them in less than 20 minutes. And we're just gonna sit back and enjoy the show. You ready? Let's go. This first big girl here is Bubbles. We got Bubbles back in 2014. There's a thing called the Reptile Ring. And it was like an auction site for snakes. And this girl was actually produced by the late great Ben Rennick and named her Bubbles because she's a champagne ball python. And she's actually gravid right now. We're hoping to have some nice coral glow champagne het pied ball pythons produced from this girl like we have before. And that's, that's Bubbles. This here is Sophie. Sophie is an Enchi stingless bee, or just a stingless bee, which is an Enchi lesser spider. And she um, is not gravid, I don't think, but she's produced several clutches for us before, which were always beautiful. And just the way the lesser and the spider play together, as well as the Enchi, just a beautiful combo of a snake and a really good girl. Got her from Freedom Breeder back in 2014. This is Dot, our bamboo ball python. And we got Dot back in 2015, but she was produced in 2014 by Mike Wilbanks. And this was supposed to be one of their holdbacks and somehow we accidentally got her, somehow magically. Somebody messed up and we got a really cool snake. And she's produced several clutches. In fact, this is the mom that was just sitting on eggs in one of our recent videos who had a clutch just hatched recently. Very beautiful snake. Dot is bamboo female. This is Maya, our Coral Glow female, who we got from TJ at 29 Snakes at the, um, I think it was a Manteca, no, a Tracy show back in 2014. This is the second ball python we ever got. Maya is beautiful and is in shed now. She wasn't in shed when she was on our last uh, week's Cusco Uncut video, but she's in shed now. And I believe it's a uh, post ovulation shed because this girl's got some eggs building in there. All right. <laughs> This here is Bernice, just a fantastic looking super fire, black eyed leukistic, very gorgeous. She's one of our like most solid muscle ball pythons. She's just so strong and just solid muscle and just a gorgeous, gorgeous snake. Who doesn't like a beautiful bright white ball python with black eyes? They're so stunning, so amazing. Bernice. Our next girl here is Violet. She is a purple passion ball python, which is a Mojave phantom ball python. It's an allelic complex in the blue-eyed leukistic complex. And uh, yeah, beautiful, wonderful girl. She's also gravid, so we're gonna be getting a clutch from her this season too. Fantastic, hopefully it's a beautiful clutch. Hopefully mom lays eggs without a, without a hitch. Violet. I forgot to mention who produced the last two snakes. Bernice the Superfire was produced by BHB and Violet the Purple Passion was produced by Freedom Breeder. This girl I got back in 2015 as well. I actually got her at the very first Pomona Reptile Super Show that I ever attended and got her from uh, TSK, that's Dan and Colette Sutherland. Clown Pied. Unfortunately, she has not produced a clutch for us in the last couple of years, last season or this season. And she doesn't seem to be building any follicles, which is a bummer because she's probably our most powerful female genetically speaking and i'd really like her to produce some triple head sunset clown pies for me but she's just not taken it's going to be a prolonged project that's the thing sometimes you might have your ideas of how long a project's going to take you and then the snake will decide no it's actually going to take you twice as long so it's just a thing that happens this is the queen this is our flagship ball python here at triple b that's garkia a big, beautiful Mojave Cypress ball python. Garkia was produced by Miguel, and this was a gift from Miguel back in, uh, what it was, a few years back now. And she's produced a nice clutch for us before. It seems like she's on track to produce another one for us this season. Garkia, beautiful Mojave Cypress ball python. This is Ty, a beautiful leopard spider produced by Freedom Breeder. Uh, this is also a snake we got back in 2015, no, 2014. She's produced one clutch for us, but uh, hasn't done a whole lot since that first clutch. 
but she still just hangs out here, eats food, and, and does her thing. This is a lemon pastel, scaleless head, clown female ball python that was produced by Mike Wilbanks. I don't know uh, if we're gonna produce clutches with her again. The clutch she produced last year had deformities. We, we might try one more time, and if the snakes end up not being viable from her, then we'll just kind of give up and say that that one wasn't a fluke. But yeah, we're gonna give her one more go and see what happens for this next season. You gonna have some good babies this time? Good girl. Cool eyes, look at those. That's Bimbo, big beautiful clown ball python. Uh, we got her a few years back and I honestly, I don't remember where I got her from. I got her on Morph Market, um, but I, I don't remember from who. That's, that's really bad of me. She slugged out for us last season and hopefully she does better this season. This is Rolanda, a cinnamon lesser 100% clown ball python who is very gravid right now and will probably have some beautiful babies for us uh, before too long. She is just loaded with eggs. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, got her from Chase Baker. Beautiful snake. Chase a cool guy. This yellow belly pinstripe het clown, ooh, extreme gene, produced by Graham Hanagriffs. We got her at a uh, Tinley show a couple years back. And just a phenomenal, beautiful snake. Produced a beautiful clutch for us last season. Not sure if she's gonna go this season, but um, she's still a stunning animal. Beautiful ball python. This beautiful yellow belly clown het pied, possible het pied, female named Freedom, produced by Freedom Breeder. It was a Christmas present from Jesse a few years back and uh, she hasn't produced a clutch for us yet, but hopefully this season will be the season we prove her out to be hip pied. This beautiful GHA Mojave pinstripe het clown was produced by Grand Hemographs also. She hasn't given us a clutch yet, but I'm hoping this is gonna be the season she goes. Sometimes she's just really dark like she is right now. Sometimes she's like bright, bright, almost white gray. And her belly's got this really cool gray going on too. She's a, got this yellow coming up too. Beautiful snake, would really love to see some babies from her at some point here. This is Charlotte, the GHI Humble Bee, produced by Freedom Breeder. Got her back in 2014. Charlotte is amazing because that hypo, GHI Humble Bee is a GHI hypo spider. And because of that hypo, she just looks just as good as she did when she was a baby. Her babies actually look exactly like her, which is incredible. Awesome snake. She took a long time to produce her first clutch, like seven years or something, but she did. Is it eight years? Eight years. Eight years to produce her first clutch. Sometimes it happens. Look at that beautiful dark snake. She's also deep in shed, so she's even more dark than this when she's not in shed. But this is Candice, our beautiful cinnamon, 100% sunset girl produced by BHB. Just a beauty. Got us into the sunset project and, and has produced visual sunsets for us every time she has a clutch. Hopefully we'll have another clutch from her this season. She's probably the biggest ball python here at Triple B. She's just massive, just huge. Look at this. That's a big ball python right there. That's a big girl. This is Candace's daughter, Cinnamon Sunset, named Bridget. And Bridget is, uh, again, Candace's daughter, and will hopefully be producing a nice clutch for us this season. She's got follicles building, without a doubt, and hopefully gonna have some more Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets and maybe some Super Cinnamon Sunsets from this clutch. We'll, we'll just have to see what happens. That there is Cindy, the Firefly Het Clown. Enchi Firefly, visual clown, female ball python. This is the first female ball python that we produced here at Triple B, and she's given us some beautiful clutches in the past, and it looks like she's grabbing it on point to give us another clutch this season. She's paired with the Orange Dream Spot Nose Clown, so it should be a pretty phenomenal clutch of all clowns, and all really beautiful clowns at that. Oh yeah. This is Brandy, a beautiful Enchi Lesser 
Paz Het Sunset that we produced a couple years back. Hoping that she grows up here in the next season and uh, we'll be able to prove her out to be 100% Het Sunset. We'll see how that goes. This here is Desi, beautiful fire clown ball python that we produced. This is actually a third generation production for Triple B and she's gravid right now, paired with that, that same Orange Dream spot nose clown. So we're looking for some fire Orange Dream spot nose clowns and again, another 100% all visual clown clutch. And that'll be the fourth generation of babies produced here at Triple B by this girl. So she's the third generation. Cindy was second generation. Then her mom was first generation. So this fourth generation clutch would be a real cool kind of a landmark for us here at Triple B, having generation after generation after generation of babies. It's beautiful, beautiful thing. This is the princess. She's a daughter of the queen, our clown pied female, and she's produced a clutch for us before too. And we'll hopefully produce another clutch this season. Looks like she's on point. She's kind of glowing up, getting all fired and bright. Hopefully get some enchi clown pieds out of this girl. That would be fantastic. You gonna do good princess? Yeah, you are gonna do good. All right, that's what I like to hear. Look at this girl right here. Wow, just on fire. This is one of our latest productions here at Triple B that you've probably seen on the channel if you've watched a bunch, but she's staying here now, officially. Stage five Klinger. That is this girl's name. She's an NG pinstripe, red stripe, spot nose clown, possibly yellow belly, and just a gorgeous snake. I can't believe I was even trying to sell her at one point, but she wanted to stay, and that's how she got her name. There she is, beautiful, gorgeous girl that's gonna be, man, what a, what a gorgeous female ball python right there. That is just, that's incredible. She's incredible, awesome. All right, we're on the home stretch, guys. Before I show you these next snakes, which are several rescues that we got from a family in San Francisco, they are ball pythons and they're rescues. And that's why I wanted to bring up one of our sponsors for today's video, Morph Market channel sponsor. I don't know if you know that Morph Market has a section on their website called rescues. So if you're looking for a place that has rescues, they've got rescues, 501c3 rescues all over the country registered on Morph Market, and they also have available animals that they've rescued that are looking for new homes. So go to Morph Market, check out the rescues page. That's something you're interested in. Also, Freedom Breeder, of course, longtime channel sponsor, will be going to the Tinley Park October show and the Daytona show in August. If you want to get a rack uh, with free shipping to one of those shows, make sure you go check out their website and get your order placed so you can get it on that truck. All right, let's check out these next snakes. This is Sugar, another Triple B production. She's an Enchi Cinnamon Possible Het Sunset female ball python. And she just has this real cool stuff going up the sides, almost like a sugar ball python. That's how she got her name. There's a real, lot, of, lot of cool stuff going up in there. I think she's gonna prove to be Sunset, but you know, only time will tell. She should be uh, going next season for us, hopefully. This is Andrea, Enchi Pastel, Het Clown, Possible Het Sunset. Another Triple B production. That there's Minnie, and she Firefly, double head clown pied. Probably next season we'll get to try and prove her out and maybe get some, some and she Firefly clown pieds out of her. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yes. Minnie, ball python. This is Roxy, pastel highway, so pastel gravel yellow belly. This is one of the rescues that I was talking about. And she's got a boyfriend over there who was rescued too, but uh, we're only showing the females in this video, so there she is, beautiful snake. Super Enchi Lesser Spider, looks a lot like her mom. This is Supergirl. She's also a possible Het Sunset. She was available for a little bit. We had her at some shows on the table, um, but she's staying here now. Snooze you lose. Yeah, once a snake gate's named here at Triple B, they're here for life, basically, uh, so. This is Miss Likely. She was also available at the shows, but uh, she decided she wanted to stay with me. I named her Miss Likely because she is very, very likely to prove out to be 100% Het Sunset, even though she's Paz Het. I don't know if you see all that orange happening in her belly there and the uh, discombobulated head stamp, but yeah, she, I believe, is going to prove to be 100% Het Sunset. And that's how she got the name, Miss Likely. Mm -hmm. You guys keeping track of how many snakes we've gone through so far? I've lost count. This is the Baroness, another one of the rescues. And she is a pastel enchi yellow belly, red jean, Mojave, blackhead ringer. <laughs> or so I'm told. But she's amazing. And I can only imagine if you somehow managed to get all of those incomplete dominant traits into a sunset. 
That seems like it'd be pretty awesome, but just getting all those genes back into the same snake, that's a long shot. But she's a gorgeous snake, man. I, I'd love to see some babies from her. Look at that. Just, I don't know, there's some colors in here that I don't think the camera's picking up whatsoever, but she, she's a looker. And here with a fresh shed, this is Christina. Superfly, orange dream, clown. Female ball python. Yep, another one of the rescues. And she's the slowest grower of the bunch, but she's doing all right. Has a big poop in her cage right now. Actually, gotta go clean it. All right, I'll be right back. This is Cassie the Hypo Butterfly. She's a good looking snake. Another one of the rescues. And man, that's a that's a pretty nice snake. That's a that's a good looking snake right there. Gonna stay look, looking like that all her life. Last but certainly not least here is Pumpkin, our pumpkin pied, yellow belly pied ball python. She's a looker. And the last one of the rescues and the last snake we're showing you today. I hope you've enjoyed meeting all of our female ball pythons in today's video. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. I'm thinking all the males. And uh, also smack that like button or touch it. Just give us a little hand there. Sorry, Snakey, didn't mean to scare you. And uh, yeah, if you give us th this video a like, we'd really appreciate it because it helps out our channel a lot. You guys uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.